So what do you want to accomplish these last home stretch part of the season, George? Yeah, well, I think it uh, starts with getting a, you know, coming out physical and aggressive this this game and, and just beating them at their game, being more physical than them, and really ending up the, the regular season with two wins. That's really what, what our goal is. is there, has there been any frustration on your part? You know, Coach Hagan was talking about you've been the focus of all these pass protection schemes, yeah. extra bodies thrown on you. Uh, has there really gotten frustrating for you at all? No, I mean, just a sign of respect, you know, from other from other offenses, offensive coordinators and lines. And, um, you know, it, does it get frustrating? Yeah, sure, at the time. But you move on and you're looking forward to the next play. Maybe the next play they won't triple team you. You know, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what you're hoping for, so. And then they said four guys after you. <laughs> yeah. So what's, the, like. what's the lesson that yourself and in the line needs to take away from last week that you can apply maybe these next two games to to, to get you guys going in the I think direction. It's, I think it's more about just focusing on our fundamentals, staying in our gaps, uh, holding the point of attack, um, finishing you know finishing our blocks and that, that kind of stuff. You know, just fundamentals really. Any uh, any excitement for you playing a game at Wrigley Field? I'm not a baseball fan. Well, not I at did, all. I did. Not at all. Like I don't, I can't watch baseball, man. <laughs> to be to be completely honest. Well, I know you uh, didn't grow up around it. I didn't grow up around it at yeah. all. Um, you know, I guess I guess it's a pretty big deal. Coach Hagan's been talking about it all week. He's <laughs> the biggest Cubs fan. It seems like, um, you know, I, I'm sure it'll be pretty neat. You know, unique with the whole one sideline deal and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure, it'll be a pretty good crowd. So uh, we're excited for it. Have you never been to Wrigley Field? I've never been to a baseball game. Okay. Actually, that's not true. I went to one, like, uh, what's it, the Indianapolis Indians in, like, second grade or something like that. But okay. that's it. It's still, it's still a baseball game. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> and have you ever been in that Wrigleyville area? I have not. Okay. You're going to have a lot of family, I imagine, a ton of family come up. Yeah, I think a lot of my family's going to come up, yeah. Have your family, family been talking about it a lot? Or are they not into baseball like you? They're... I think my, my family's like Indian. They're Indians fans. Okay. So, uh, you know, they, a lot of them will come up just to watch me play. You know, it's pretty close, two and a half hour drive. Right. Um, you know, there'll be a cool venue. And not too many people get to say they played a football game there. So, pretty cool. Can you name any current Major League Baseball players? Uh, How about any? I've, all-time I've seen. Guys, I've all-time seen. Guys, I've anybody. seen. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Uh, what was the guy Rizzo or something like that, right? Yeah, Anthony Rizzo. There you go. Yeah, I can name. I can name a few. <laughs> not too. Not too many. I'm not. I. I, I can't watch it, man. I can't. <laughs> Didn't grow up around it. So. Maybe may, may been a good pitcher, a, a hitter, clean up hitter. Yeah, if I could stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what about Northwestern, George? See anything about them on tape? Watching them? Could catch your eye? Well, I. I think they're up there with you know the the more uh, fundamentally sound and. In, in terms of what they do, teams, you know, they're very, very disciplined and they're very physical. You know, I think that starts with their head coach. They have a great culture going on there. Um, you know, so they're, they're going to be really physical in what they do. They're going to run hard. They're going to play hard regardless of what their record is. You know, so that that stands out. You know, when you watch the film, it pops out. So, just the impact Mark Hagan's had on your group. Yeah, on I mean, you, you could tell. On you, on you, you could tell. I mean, right? Yeah. You could tell just by watching the games. I think it's a totally different line. You know. I think he's huge in, in on the field stuff and off the field stuff, you know, teaching us new things, board work, technique, all that kind of just it, instrumental to this group's success. And just to your success, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, it goes without saying. I mean, you feel like you could tell the difference between past couple of years and, and this year, you know, kind of how I feel like I, I've just been more of a factor. You know whether that, whether I'm making more plays or not. You know, you can tell by watching film. So so he he's been huge in that. And just putting me in positions to make plays and, and teaching me how to how to do certain things with with my God given ability. What has he brought out of you that you that wasn't getting brought out of you earlier in your career? Well, I'd always had an attitude like I'm going to go and play hard all the time, right? It just more the, the consistency, right? You know, late in the season, you know, the past couple of years I was younger. Last year wasn't I didn't play too much, but my freshman year I know I remember down the line I was really tired and kind of groggy and uh, like that, you know. So now it's kind of been he's been on us, all of us, not just me, especially the younger guys, you know, finish strong, 
uh, so you know your play doesn't go down you know so so your play actually elevates towards the end of the season so that's really that's really a huge benefit